Good morning from Gatwick Airport this time. Not as rainy and not as early. Lauren's getting her shoes on ready. It's still 8am, so we've done another little sleepover in the van and we've got the next flight to catch. Just enough time for a veggie breakfast this time. Weather soon special. We've gone for the hot breakfast, but coffee or orange juice in the comments? Coffee. So touchdown Madeira, we made it safe and sound. It's like the world's most dangerous or rocky airport. One of the world's most dangerous airports. Because they have to come in real close and turn around the mountains, but we're here. Let's get to the hotel. That's the house. That's Ronaldo's house. Yeah, that's Ronaldo's house. And your hotel is just next door. So we've come from London to Madeira. Unfortunately, Ronaldo's in Manchester right now, yeah, but we're living next door. You're like neighbor of Ronaldo at the moment, so. <laughs> <laughs> See? So we are here with Visit Madeira for the next five nights. We've got two nights in this hotel, and then we're gonna switch over to another one. Madeira is famous for, of course, Cristiano Ronaldo. I have a feeling it's famous for bananas as well. We'll check, we'll check that one and we'll get the report back to you. As always, we've got a jam-packed itinerary, but Lauren's going to give us a quick run-through of where we're staying. Also, before we start this, if you're new to the vlogs, this is not how we usually live. All right, quick one. This is the toilet. Massive shower. <laughs> Walk-in shower. Welcome to the crib. It's like MTV cribs. Bit of a Scandinavian feel to it. Got the wood really going on. I'm really bedside tables and I love them cushions. So I'm going to see if they've got cushions for sale that we can take back to the boat. And out here, is our little balcony with an ocean view, which I'm sure we'll see plenty of that over the next few days. So we're gonna have a chill, freshen up. It's quarter past four, so I'll probably have a dinner in the hotel and we will pick this up after I've had a shave. That's better, fresh, ready for a bit of food. Quickly though, spin it there. There it is, Ronaldo's gaff. And this is our little resort down here. Not a bad view for the first evening. Just behind Ronaldo's house, is Funchal, the old town that we'll be heading to at some point. Oh darling, oh darling. <laughs> that is the pool we're gonna be in at some point. But for now, Lauren's gonna have the pool blocked by my beautiful face. Uh oh, talk us through what we got though. Vegan burger with chips, mm -hmm. quinoa poke bowl, veggie bao buns, and what are they, croquettes? Yeah, bean croquettes. And we just had the most unreal garlic bread. Ah, oh, I didn't get the garlic bread. We'll get it tomorrow, we'll get it tomorrow. <laughs> Cheers, <laughs> cheers, cheers, cheers. We're gonna feed up. You can't quite see it, but the sun is setting beautifully behind us. The food is delicious. I can't wait for tomorrow already. Done. <gasps> oh, <laughs> I, I <laughs> oh, come on. This bed is like a cloud. All right, arrival's done. We're gonna pick this up in the morning. We were gonna take a walk into town, but I just checked the itinerary. We're going there tomorrow anyway, after our first activity day. So we'll pick this up bright and early. Obrigado. All right, here we go, day one. We're out and about. <laughs> We've just passed the CR7 Museum, owned by Ronaldo, but we're heading this way into the town of Funchal. First stop, we're out dolphin and whale watching. We've done this in 2018? Yes. We saw some pilot whales. So my mission for the next hour or so is to get you a whale jumping out of the water. I hope so. Lauren's Googling the pilot whales. Let me see. It looks like Quasimodo. <laughs> I'm not sure we're gonna get that close. <laughs> Flying along, we've got one guy controlling it, and then we've got a guide slash spotter on the back, keeping all eyes peeled for any type of whale or dolphin. It's a bit wobbly, we're getting thrown all over the place. Eyes peeled, Lauren, yeah? <laughs> oh. <laughs> they are fighting, they are fighting for sure. So we've got the sperm whales and the pilot whales having a little yeah. fight here, having <laughs> a little fight over the food. It's the second time in my life that I see this, and I'm a seller for more than 20 years. Wow. See, there's a baby sperm whale in the middle and right. they're trying to protect the little one because the pilot whales, they bite them. That's insane how close it is, isn't it? Uh -huh. And there go the pilot whales. They look a bit more like dolphins heading out. The, the, the fight's over. They were no match for the big sperm whales. Absolute David Attenborough moment on the ocean. All I've got to say about that is unbelievable, Jeff. <laughs> Five sperm whales protecting the little baby, fighting off the pilot whales, scrapping over food. We're always so lucky on expeditions like this. Nice haircut. <laughs> You're right, Lil, getting a bit chilly. It's a bit cold at the front. <laughs> Quick one, we're nearly back to Funchal, but just had to stop off at Cabo Giro. It's the highest sea cliff in Europe, 580 meters. There's a skywalk up there somewhere, which I don't think we're going to on this trip but we went to last time, so I'll cut some pictures in to show you what it looks like. That was Lauren when she jumped out the swimming pool this morning, especially the haircut. 
Very similar. All right, back on land. Bum's a bit sore and legs are a bit like jelly, but oh, we're gonna make it across the crossing. Headed for some food in Funchal, a place called Prima Caju. Not sure if I've pronounced it right, but apparently there's some good veggie food there. Portuguese vibes. Maths is going on. We're heading in here. Quick cheers, super smoothie and a red wine for lunch, late lunch. Quick one, I just realized. If you don't know Madeira, you might not know that it's actually a Portuguese island. It's just off like the southwest coast of Lisbon. So we are in Portugal. Although when you look at it on a map, it's level with Morocco, no? Yeah. Perfect timing. What we got, Loza? Okay, we've got Prima wrap, marinated tofu, and all of this is like a poke bowl. Quarter five, very late lunch. Bit of an afternoon snack before we head back and get dinner at the hotel. A snack! A snack! A little bit fuller. Back to the hotel now? Oh yes. Oh, there's two shops I want to pop in on the way back. <laughs> Lauren's on the souvenir, hun. Quick pit stop. His hands are too big. <laughs> it's a big old boy. Cristiano Ronaldo statue with Funchal in the background. Time for a quick selfie. What you found? For the kitchen. Oh, very sexy. No, me, I'll probably spill it here. <laughs> yeah, true. That'll be covered in red sauce in no time. Found the souvenir. Some little Madeira bockies. I reckon Lauren's gonna love me in them. What we've got to do now is keep Lauren from spotting that sunflower cushion. Also, Lauren was right. Madeira, we've done the research, is famous for bananas. And there's a banana tree on the side of the road. I don't know about famous, but they do grow a lot of bananas. There's an old derelict casino up there. <laughs> Won't be going there tonight. But we Googled it and it said Madeira exports 80% of its bananas to mainland Portugal. So yeah, I think they're big in the banana game. And I had one this morning at breakfast. It was a locally grown banana and it was a delicious. <laughs> Best banana she's ever had. Quick change. Trunks are back on, going for a little swim before dinner. So this is our pool here, and then they've got a direct access with a ledge going into the ocean, and I'll fancy it. Coming for a dip, love? I don't think there's a <laughs> They're coming for you. Are you ready for this? I don't know, now that I'm here it's a bit cold, you know, but palm trees are here, the sun's gone in. I'm the only one out here. Cold? It's not so bad. Not as bad as our Isle of Skye. Oh. Again? Yeah, it wasn't such a good idea, was it? <laughs> I don't know how you do it. <laughs> I'm absolutely freezing now. <laughs> You're chill for a sec. It's actually not cold out here, but my body's just cold. Hot and cold all day. Uh, we can't eat yet. What are we going to do? Uh... <laughs> just chill out. <laughs> I feel like I've forgotten how to chill. Deja vu. <laughs> Dinner time. Coming in hot. We've switched roles tonight. I've taken this side. <laughs> Lauren can't wait. <laughs> Miss the sunset though, we're a bit dark in the background, but here is the garlic bread that we were talking about. Quick sign out. We've got to check out this place in the morning, which is a bit of a shame, but we'll see where the next adventure takes us. More importantly, we just got back and there was a little note through the door and it says, you will need this for the toboggan ride. Thanks. We'll end it on that <laughs> and we'll pick this up in the morning. Good morning, we are up for day two. Sun is shining, we're feeling lively today. Lauren dragged me out of bed at about 8 a.m. for a workout. Coming through, Loza, are you decent? Where are you? Oh God, I wonder what you were doing. We're up, we're gonna grab some breakfast, check out of this hotel, move into another one, and we're gonna pick it up when we're going for the tobogganing. So we've come down to the Funchal town again. We're about to jump on the cable car. <laughs> Lauren, we've had our workout today, come on, let's chill now. <laughs> Lauren thinks she's back in the gym, too much energy, too much toast for breakfast. We're gonna head up, it's just through here. It is 11 euros one way, takes about 15 to 20 minutes, and we'll try and make it as short and snappy as possible. <laughs> Not a bad place for a football game. <laughs> we're literally rising up over Funchal now. What did you say, 25 degrees? 25. And we're in this glass box, so it's pretty hot, but beautiful scenes on the way up. Big old houses there with swimming pools in the back garden. <laughs> Getting high now. How are you feeling? <laughs> Lauren's not a fan of heights, as you know. But unreal views over Funchal. Touchdown. Oh, that was sweaty, wasn't it? That was like a greenhouse. That was worse than the, the narrow boat. We've made it to Monty, which is at the top of the cable cars. It's a little suburb. There's a few bits up here. There's Monty Palace Tropical Garden, which we're going to have a look around now. Lauren's a comedian. Go on. This is you this morning when you had to get up and do a workout. <laughs> 
So Monte Palace Tropical Garden, as you can expect. Oh, <laughs> morning. <laughs> as you could expect, it's a tropical garden. We'll have a little walk around <laughs> and basically show you some pretty plants. What we've got in here. Jesus. What on earth is going on? I was about to say we've landed in Africa and it is, look, African passion. <laughs> That's Lauren when there's no beans left in the tin. <laughs> look at her, look. She's looking for one now. That's you when your YouTube video don't go to plan. <laughs> <laughs> Jokes aside, that is actually E.T. isn't it? That is definitely modelled on E.T. This is you next time you go dentist and then you realise you've got to have your teeth out. <laughs> right, we should probably stop taking the piss out of all the artwork now and then. <laughs> It's actually really something. good. They're it really is, talented. Yeah. When we come to places like this, we always do this. Ah, oh, that looks like you. Ha ha ha. Pathetic, so. immature, childish. Lauren is the gecko hunter. She loves geckos. He's going to make a dart for it, really. Oh no, we got him. He's chilling. Is it a gecko? I don't know. It's probably not even a gecko, but it's some kind of lizard. It looks like a gecko. We love geckos. They're all over Bali and we used to have them running around our room. So whenever we find something like that, it's pretty cool. They remind me of my granddad. Little gecko man. Yeah, he's a germinator. Should we build a table? <laughs> Bamboo everywhere. And then look at this. How much of this do you reckon we can fit in our suitcase? Yes, firewood. Firewood, we're coming up to winter. We're gonna need as much of that as possible to keep the narrowboat warm. Right, we're gonna have a wander down quickly. I'm not gonna bore you with all the plant stuff because you're probably not that interested. And even if you are, I'm not really interested. <laughs> but we're gonna show you a couple of the highlights that are in here. Look what's just landed on my flip flop. Little moth. And he won't leave, look. <laughs> See how far we can take him. I'm gonna put this on the meter, mate. You'd be paying euros. Found the koi fish pond. That is pretty cool. A bit more impressive than the fish in the marina. And then you've got the Monte Palace itself, an old hotel, which was shut down when? 1943 by Charles. <laughs> Might reopen it if I fancy it. <laughs> Overlooking the Oriental Gardens and the Bay of Funchal. What are you spotted? Turtles or terrapins, we don't know yet. Lauren's on Nature Watch. I don't know if I can get it from up here, but we're gonna go down and see. Yeah. Definitely some kind of tortoise. Absolutely chilling. There's another one there, right there. Having a little cruise along. The question is, can we get that through customs? We can get him in the boat at the yard. <laughs> Just no. drop him off the end of the narrow boat. Go on, lad, you can do it. Oh, no. I think he's figured it out. <laughs> Go on, lad. That's it, man. He's done for the day. They're a bit uglier than turtles, isn't they? Uglier? Yeah. Oh, that's terrible. Oh, cute, but that turtles are bit cuter. That's giving me a new swim pool later. Chilling. Yeah, and that is where I want to be right now. Get me in that water. Quick stop for a refuel. We've learned something. Lauren's into the garlic bread that we were telling you about. It's half gone, but that is what it looks like. And it's actually called Bolo de Caco. It's a circular Madeiran flatbread and they serve it with garlic butter. That's what I'm talking about. Lauren ordered a small wine. Show them the small wine. Jesus. This is mushroom and asparagus risotto. Big boy risotto. Are you ready? I'm drunk. <laughs> Lauren's drunk off a, basically a bottle I think she had of wine. That wine's gone straight to my head and the heat as well. And we're going to need about six men I think to push our toboggan down to Funchal. <laughs> All right, time for something very traditional here in Madeira. If you come to the island, you have to take the toboggan ride from Monte all the way down to Funchal. People are taking off now. Not your average toboggan ride. This one is in wicker baskets. You've got two riders and back in the 19th century, early 19th century, this was their first mode of transport from the high town down to the low town. <laughs> we're off. We're off. <laughs> Absolutely chipping down here. I don't know what speed we're going at. These guys are absolute powerhouses. I can smell the wood burning. <laughs> don't say that. As long as we don't fall out, we're all good. The guys <laughs> have got like special shoes on, so we should be good. We're gonna blow up. <laughs> no, no. Epic views now, coming down into Funchal. Hey, hola. Keep your toes curled in. <laughs> they got a guy here checking the crossing that we're all safe. Yeah, flying, come on. What a great tourist attraction. If you're in Madeira, you have to do this, it's man. brilliant. The guy just said, they have a saying here, that you haven't been to Madeira unless you've done this. So even if you come here on holiday, you if, you're, if you're not riding the toboggan, you haven't really been here. <laughs> and then they kind of slingshot it, run, and jump on the back. Man, they got their special shoes on for sliding. Absolute madness. <laughs> they've got control of this. Nice. 
<laughs> what an adrenaline rush. I don't know if it looked so fast on the video, but it was pretty fast when we were flying down. That's brought the energy up, hasn't it? Matt, yeah, definitely. The energy's <laughs> the high now. To the <laughs> Tropical garden weren't really our thing, but that was our thing. We could go again. <laughs> Fair play to these guys. Absolute hustlers. Now they just wait for a big truck to come and collect them. They go back up to the top and go again. So. And they're all in the uniform. They look really smart. Yeah, traditional gear rather them than me. We're going to jump in the taxi and get to the new hotel. Lauren's found the souvenir. She's eyeing up. Look at these little toboggan magnets. I think that's going on the boat. Banana tree. <laughs> there you go. Famous for bananas. She's just rubbing it in now. She was right about the banana thing, guys. Show me what else you got. Poncha. A little bottle of poncha. Passion fruit rum and honey. It's a very famous drink here. And a little toboggan magnet. <laughs> That is so cool. <laughs> Absolute tourists, but Lauren just said that's her favourite thing in Madeira, so a big tick on the bucket list. So we just checked in. And look at this little buddy. <laughs> I think we've levelled up a bit again, haven't we? I think so. As if it couldn't get any better. Wait till you see the pool. So we checked in, look at that. Like a bloody sauna. We're going through here, I'll give you a quick tour. Bathroom, big old shower. I've drawn the curtains because the sun is absolutely scorching through at the minute, but very holiday vibey. Lauren's knockout. I think we're gonna have a little nap. I'll give you a quick look onto the balcony. I'm sure at some point, look, sunset's gonna be a banger off the balcony, looking straight over the ocean. And over there is the swimming pool. I think we've got three nights here. We're gonna put the camera down, have a little sleep, and pick this up in the evening. So maybe we had a little nap, maybe we didn't, but we've come out before dinner to check out the pool. Lauren's just over there taking some videos. Unreal spot. This is where we're gonna be chilling tomorrow evening. Some big sunset views. So to give you a bit of an idea of where we are, we've come from right around that bay, it's Funchal. We've come down this side to a place called Ponta do Sol, which is where we're gonna be based for the next few nights. Let's get some dinner, and we hit it hard again tomorrow morning. How's this for a setting? <laughs> Unreal spot and do you know what's funny? This is exactly where we sat three years ago. I'm not even hungry but we've got to take advantage of it. I could eat some olive bread. Olive bread? Oh, olive bread darling. Olive oil with bread. Alright dinner's here. Hopefully you can see us about right. We've got the waves crashing in. You got a little penne arabiata? Yeah. I've got a lasagna and we're gonna sign out here. We're gonna chill, eat our dinner and we'll pick this up in the morning. Oi oi! Coming in day three. Lauren's in the back. We're on a four by four tour with our South African buddy Jeff. Hit the road Madeira. We're heading out for the day. We're going to get some viewpoints. We're going to check out all the stuff that you can't get to in a normal vehicle. And you know we love a 4x4 four four trip. Look at this road. Oh my days. <laughs> oh my god. Are we going to be okay? Yeah, Lauren's just tightening her belt up back there. You alright Lauren? Oh my god, I'm scared. <laughs> you got parachutes in the, under the seat. <laughs> Jesus Whoa. Christ. There we go, this is the banana road. Oh, there you go, full of bananas. Yeah. <laughs> We've barely left the hotel. Good job we fueled up. We had a big breakfast this morning, so we should be all good. All right, we made it. The baby made it. Are you ready for this? <laughs> no, 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 don't do that. Look at this for a view. <laughs> and it's so peaceful as well. There's literally nobody up here. We could walk across there. Look, the top for them peaks. How sick would that might be? That's definitely one way to start the day and dust off the cobwebs. Feeling fresh, feeling ready. 10 a.m. man, we're just beginning. Quick stop off. <laughs> Lauren's on the poncha. Early morning poncha, hang on. Early morning. 20 past Early 11. Morning. It's poncha time. Yeah. Take the good step. Okay guys, I'll see you later. <laughs> so Lauren's ready for another traditional experience here in Madeira. If you don't know, that's famous for its poncha which is their alcohol drink made originally by the fishermen. The original was sugar, honey, rum. Okay, and this one? Now they make it with orange, lemon, honey, honey and rum. Honey and rum. Down the hatch. Good vitamins. <laughs> it's 11 o'clock in the morning. <laughs> Big old glass of rum at 11.20 in the morning. You can always tell by her honest reaction. No, it's really nice. Yeah? It'll be nice in the evening. <laughs> we'll get another one later. It's nice because it's got the little rum kick. <laughs> Should be knockout in the back of the jeep on the way back. <laughs> and for me, Jeff's treating me to a little pastel de nata, another traditional Portuguese cake. A little bit of cinnamon on top, inside's like a custody pastry. So I'm going to get into that while Lauren gets drunk. <laughs> Lauren's off looking at postcards. Little souvenir shop. I'll tell you what, that is naughty. Naughty nata. Are you going to give us a bite? Ooh, you're asking a bit much. I'm a big fan of egg custards back home in the UK, and I guess that's the Portuguese version. Rating? Oh. That is so light and wafery. Yeah, light for me, that's what that is. Mm. 
back on the road now. We're heading to the north side. We're heading to Porto Moniz. See what we can find over there. Quick stop off, little viewpoint overlooking Porto Moniz. Before we go down there, got the natural pools just in there. We're gonna go for a little swim, I think, and then have lunch down there somewhere. Porto Moniz, get me in that water. This is the moment I've been waiting for. Porto Moniz natural pools. Ready for a swim, love? Yeah, boy. How mad is this? Completely natural pools running all the way around from the ocean with not a bag backdrop. So on a day like today, when it's been pretty hot and sweaty, we need to get in there and have a little cool off. What are you saying, chilly? Nippy and slippy. <laughs> Nippy and slippy. The hair's going out because I washed it this morning and only wash it once a week, so. <laughs> <laughs> Got to save on the shampoo bill. <laughs> Go, you're on camera now, you gotta do it. <laughs> Three, two, one, dip. Little dip. <laughs> What'd you say? I'm done. Like, I'm fresh. We've got, I think we've got about half an hour here. Definitely the most scenic swimming spot yeah, for we've sure. ever found. We're going to do a couple of laps, burn off some energy before lunch. Lauren's happy, that's enough swimming for her. She done one lap. Just drying off, eh? Hey? Just drying, yeah, drying off, catching a suntan. Really, really cool place, man. I love little natural places like this. And this was one of the spots we missed last time we visited. So glad that we got to tick this off. Now, need a refuel. Feed time, Aqua Natura Bay Hotel. But we're in the, what was the name? Lapa Bay Restaurant. Yeah. Lapa Bay Restaurant. Lapa Bay Restaurant, check this feed out. We've got some beetroot salad. Got a sweet potato soup, stuffed mushroom. What you got, Lowe? I've got a vegan burger on bolo de caco. Yes. <laughs> bread. Pronun doing bread. Pronunciation's coming in. Jeff's with us. What you got, Jeff? What's up? I got a limpid ravioli. Limpids are one of the things that you have to try in Madeira. There you go. You heard it from Jeff. We're going to tuck in. Bon appetit. Catch up in a little while. Quick pano. I forgot to show you the setting while we eat our lunch. All good, Lowe? Tucking in. I always catch her eating. <laughs> coming out the window. How's that for a view? while we enjoy our lunch. We've had a nightmare. Well, not a nightmare, it's, it's, a, it's a touch, but we probably should have come up here before we've eaten. Look at this. Infinity pool, Lauren's got a little food baby going on. <laughs> Infinity pool on top of the hotel and we can't not get in and take some photos. That is unreal. Home sweet home, we're back at the hotel. We're going to the pool, we don't want to disturb everyone, but the pool is there. Have you got a towel? I haven't got any towels. We should, we should probably get some towels. Got the towels. We've got the towels. We're going to have a little chill. Do you know what? This is the closest press trip we've ever felt to actually being on a holiday. Yeah. We're going to have a little relax. It's been a really good chilled one. That is what I'm talking about. Look at Lauren getting the sun cream on. I'm done. I'm, I'm the baby. I always go first. <laughs> We're going to chill out and catch you before dinner. All right, from the pool to the room, quick change, followed by dinner. I've gone for a little mushroom linguine. Lauren's got a chickpea moussaka. Was that a choice or was that a choice? Sunset. Absolute banger. And bed. Lauren's just setting up a little Netflix session, I think. Eight o'clock, we're gonna get in bed and chill. Up for an early one again tomorrow. It's been a hectic day. We started at like seven this morning and we're going same tomorrow on a big hike. Levada. You ready? Absolutely. <laughs> See you in the morning. I'm always ready. Big fuel up today. Granola, fresh fruit, toast. We've got some asparagus coming. Go on, Loza. We have got a big hike for the final day. We're up and at it. We're up at 25 fonts. We've got our tour guide Fabio for the day. Hey guys. From Adventure Kingdom. Lauren's shooting some film off. <laughs> our friends coming on a little hike with us. The cows are everywhere. They're just bringing up some sugar cane leaves. Sugar yeah. cane leaves? Yeah. <laughs> to feed the cows. So they're out in force. Oh, we're going to get out of here and try and find a Levada. <laughs> Morning. So a quick bit of information for you before we get too far. This right here is an example of the Levadas on Madeira, which are very popular for tourists to come and hike around and explore. So essentially they're man-made irrigation channels that take the water from the top of the mountains all the way down into the towns. They've been using them here in Madeira for over 600 years. And there's three main reasons, Fabio, for the Levadas. True, we use them for irrigation, we use them for production of electrical energy and for drinking of the... So there you go. There's the history and the information of the Levadas. Sorry to bore you, I've got another fun fact. This is a little filtration system. But Fabio just said there's over 3,400 kilometers of Levadas running around Madeira. Bearing in mind Madeira is just 57 by 23 kilometers in size. 
So you can imagine the Levadas are just like a maze all over the island. How are you feeling, Lowell? Waking it up? Feeling pumped. Pumped. She's setting the pace. She's absolutely flying this morning. And the beautiful thing about walking around the Levadas is you get views like this. So we've been going for about an hour <laughs> and we've come out at a little, no, <laughs> not a little, a huge waterfall. Epic little spot. Didn't bring the swim gear, although I'm not sure it's quite hot enough for a, for a swim. It's going to be ice cold. I reckon that's there. ice cold, but a good way to break up the walk. And so peaceful. <laughs> oh, absolutely freezing. Oh, no chance. Fabio's gone. He's on a mad one. We're on a little mission. All good, love? Yes. <laughs> so that's the top of the waterfall. That's where we were just over there. And a quick hop, skip and a jump. How is that? <laughs> For a spot. All good, Lauren. VIP access. Do not slide down there. There you go. It's an even better view. It seems to just go on forever. So quick behind the scenes, if you ever wondered what our photo taking things look like. We've got the tripod pretty balanced. Fingers crossed it's balanced. The camera's set up. Lauren's in position, and to be honest, Lauren normally takes all the photos. I'm a bit of an amateur back here, so we'll see how they turn out. The only problem now is, I don't think I filmed the stairs coming down. We've got to get back up. How are you feeling, Lauren? Not so energetic. <laughs> the calves are burning. And here you go, fresh from the Levada, <laughs> topping up the agua before we head back down to base. Oh, it's very cold, but very fresh. What are you saying about the Levada water? clean fresh so it's way way genuinely way better than the the stuff we've been drinking at the hotel we've been drinking out the tap in the hotel so cloudy and full of chemicals it tastes a lot better <laughs> it tastes like earth <laughs> slight detour on the way home get your head torch on we're going into the tunnel fabio said it's going to take about 15 minutes to get through here 800 meters 800 meters yeah. and it's been here a long time so hopefully we can get in and out pretty <laughs> swift no no dangerous things no. <laughs> well, this is a wild scare. all good love Oh, okay. Fabio's guiding the way. All under control. Do you see me? Halloween ready. My precious. <laughs> we made it. What a place to end the hike. You've got the ocean down there, if you can just quite see it. And we're pretty much level with the clouds. So that's the end of the Levada hike, walk, trek, whatever you want to call it. Lauren, I think, is setting up for some photos, of course. We have to say thank you and goodbye to Fabio. Thank you very much. And we'll pick this up. We're gonna jump in the truck now and head back to the hotel. Forgot to plug Adventure Kingdom. If you need Levada walks, canyoning tours, canyoneering tours, anything you need, right? That's right, anything Adve around Madeira. Anything you need around Madeira, Adventure Kingdom is the company and Fabio is the guide. Back to the van, got a little picnic set up here. Jumped in, carry a bag full of food. Mm -hmm. <laughs> got a little granola and yogurt, some mango in there as well. Fresh smoothie from the guys at Vantastic. It's got ginger in. Yeah, you can taste it. Mm and a bad boy sandwich. Fuel up on the way home. That is bad boy. Quick stop at the Super Mercado. Lauren wants some snacks for the room. Are you right? Do you need a hand? <laughs> oh, dangerous. All right, home sweet home. I think that is us guys. Not sure how long this vlog's gonna be. I feel like I've filmed a lot. Lauren's happy she's got her crisps as always. Queen of the crisps. I haven't showed you what we got from the shop. One second. Okay, firstly, you're not doing holiday right if you haven't got Lay's by the pool. <laughs> We're gonna chill by the pool and eat our Lay's crisps. Got some pasta de natas to take home for the parents. Also some coral beer, which is famous Madeiran beer. Yeah, got a bit of chockey for later. Cheeky chockey. And Lauren picked up some passion fruits. They're also famous in Madeira. So yeah, we're gonna sign out. Our flight's actually not till tomorrow morning. It's only two o'clock. We're done for the day. Feel like we're actually gonna have like a one day holiday. We're gonna go and chill by the pool, go down and enjoy our last dinner and sunset in this hotel. Get a bit of tan. Get a little bit of tan. Maybe go a bit more red before we go home. <laughs> Lighting's actually doing me wonders. So second time has been a charm. Big shout out to Visit Madeira for organizing the trip. And of course, for letting us have a bit more of a relaxed one this time. Yeah, more of a slow pace travel. Also, we're very lucky with the weather this year because apparently last September, it was all crap, crappy, rainy, cold weather. It's been a really good week. So we're gonna get out of this sweaty gear, get some sun cream on and go and chill. And we will catch you on the next one. When's the next one? Ah, next one is next weekend. Five year anniversary. Got a little surprise lined up for Lauren. I have no idea what's going on, but he did, he did spit it up last, was it yesterday? Yeah, the tour guide had asked me yesterday, so what travels and plans have you got coming up? And I was like, oh, we're in London next weekend. I was like, we're going to London, are we? Oh, gutted, but she knows nothing else. And that'll be coming up, yeah, straight after this. Catch you on the next one.